Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we look at the Villager Market plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to create these NPC shops where you can sell and buy items at your leisure. They're highly customizable, it's very easy to set up and overall a really well made plugin. So let's take a look at one of these examples. So if we right click you can see there's four different items in this GUI. The top left one is editing the shop front, i.e. all the items you can buy and sell. We'll take a look at that in a second. You can preview it from a customer's standpoint. You can edit the villager's skin, so whether it's a normal one or maybe a cleric or a farmer gives them a nice straw hat and then finally you can change the villager name so if we click this it has to be under 12 characters and you can use color code so if I do and 6 and then and O, oh, it'll be italics and let's just do hello and as you can see that looks very nice so these two are examples of admin shops there are only four items in the GUI that allow you to edit and change things however over here this is a player shop so this is one that a player can rent for a certain amount of money certain amount of time so if we right click this we've got a few options so it tells you how many slots you have to sell items so up to 26 and then you have up to 35 storage slots to store those items for people to buy then we can buy it for $99 for two days and we can then keep renting it for however long we want. So if we do that you can see up at the top there is the emerald still and we can increase the rent time and you can see this is charging me $99 each click and now we have it for eight days. Then we can edit the storage so in here we can put in items we want to sell. We can sell slash abandon the shop if we don't want it anymore and someone else can start renting it. However, if we go into shop front, we can put in some items for sale. So I want to sell this golden sword, so I want to just drag and drop, click it in, and then it's going to close the GUI and ask you how many you want to buy and sell. So I'm going to just do one at a time, and then the price. So we can change this, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to just put $100 for now. And then if we have a look at it, it's currently only on the sell mode. So if we want to purchase some, we can change that mode by clicking, and same for the price and the amount, etc. So let's go ahead and click to edit and in here what we can do is click the sign in the middle to change the mode from sell to buy to buy and sell. And then if we look over here you can change the price. So currently we are buying it for $0 and selling it for $100. So let's left click and say you want to buy it for $50. That way we can make a nice little profit. Then the buy limit, so how many do you want people to be able to buy in one go, so maybe you know two. And then the amount, so currently it is a stack of one, however if it was dirt, maybe 64. And then this is pretty cool, you can actually add a discount, so this is a percentage, type it in chat, followed by the amount of time, so this would be one hour, or you could do day, week, etc. And then you could remove it if you wanted to. If we hit back, and back again, we can go into storage and now put some swords in there that we definitely haven't just duplicated and if we go to preview shop you can see this is the item we created now it shows the original price and now the discounted price is four in stock we can left click to buy and then we could obviously right click to sell however you can't sell items to yourself so if you want to create one of these shops you need to do the vm create command and then you can either create an admin one and if you select that all you need to select is the amount of slots in the shop so four lines worth and then we could obviously go into it and you can see there's one two three four here however if you create a player shop there's some additional things you need to customize so select player and then first of all is the amount of slots or the amount of lines so we're going to do four again the next number is the storage space so how many slots of storage we'll do five for that one then it's the amount of money it costs to rent, so let's do $50, and then the amount of time you rent it for, let's do three days for this one. Hit enter, and that's going to create a player shop that is available to rent. If you look in here, there's 35 slots, i.e. four lines, there's 44 storage, i.e. five lines, and then you can rent it for $50 for three days. That's how you would create one. Now you can also give someone an item by doing VM item give and then a player's name and then the amount of slots for the shop, so four, and then the amount of storage slots. Hit enter and that gives you a item and in here you can see in the law it says four and four and you can right click to place it. You can obviously right click to sell and abandon and that's going to give you the item back which is pretty handy and then a pretty useful command is the vm move command so then you can right click a shop and if we want to place it in here for example with all the other ones that allows you to move them another cool command is the vm 
search command followed by a radius, so 25. It shows you all the different locations, the different names, and then you can left click to teleport to them. One pretty handy command is actually the clone one, so VM clone. Right click one and that's going to spawn an identical shot right in front of you with the same items in as the one you cloned. So that is how it works in game. As you can see, it's super easy to customize and create these shots. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19. If we scroll down, you can see there is a very handy wiki here which has tons of good information in. You do need Vault and an economy plugin, so make sure you have those. And then it lists a few different features, gives you some nice images. Here are some placeholders you can use. And then down here we have the commands and permissions. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.